And welcome. We're getting set for this boys class four sectional contest between the Sykeston Bulldogs and the Hillsboro Hawks. I'm Tyler Wagner joined by Jeff Williams this evening. And Jeff, we've got a rematch of last year's sectional in this same game, same building. And that one came down to the wire. Looks like we might have another close one here tonight as well. Yeah, it was an exciting game last year, Tyler. Uh, Hillsboro comes in with pretty much the same squad they had last year. I think they had four returning starters. They've got an outstanding record, 24-4. Uh, the Bulldogs come in with a little bit of different personnel. Uh, a couple new starters uh, come in with a record of 25-2, and two, state ranked. So two outstanding clubs tonight meeting in this sectional ball game. I expect a very competitive contest tonight. And we've got the starting lineups. The starting lineups for Hillsboro. You got number two, Ben Lampkins, point guard, 5'7. He's a junior. For the Bulldogs, you got number five, junior Parker Long. For Hillsboro, number 23, their man in the middle, Gavin Pinkley, 6'8 senior. For Seiston, All-Stater, number 20, senior, Fred Thatch. For Hillsborough, number 24, 6'3", senior, Isaiah Martin. For Seiston, number 23, 5'11", junior, Kevin Jones. For the Hawks of Hillsboro, number 32, Michael Brewer, 6'4", junior. For Saxton, 6'1", junior, number 24, Owen Long. And the final starter for Hillsboro, number 42, 6'5", Senior Tyler Isaacson. And also for Sykeston, 6'7", junior, number four, Trey Jenkins rounds out the starting lineup. Tyler, I think we'll have uh, contrasting styles tonight. Yeah, Bulldogs certainly. like to get it up and down the floor. They come in averaging 81 points a game. Look for a lot of ball pressure out of them. Hillsboro, a little bit more deliberate. Yeah, you can remember back to last year, it was in the second half that Hillsboro couldn't handle Sykeston's defense and pressure late in the game. But uh, they could come into play once again tonight. We'll see. But we're set to go here from Farmington. Tip goes to the ball. Bulldogs. Parker Long with the layup. Nice assist from Fred Thatch. Looks like uh, Bulldogs will come out in half court man to man. Michael Brewer with the ball. Jump shot from about 12 feet. Off rebound. Parker Long. Long brings the ball down. Finds Kevin Jones in the corner for a three. It's off. Rebound, Brewer. And a layup, number 42. That's Isaacson. Tyler Isaacson with the bucket. Hillsboro back in a 2-3 zone. Little matchup defense from the Hawks. Parker Long handling the ball up top. Over to his brother Owen Long. Owen with the three and it's off. Ball goes out of bounds. Kevin Jones playing a little, applying a little full court pressure on Lampkins. Ben Lampkins, point guard for Hillsboro. Brewer with another shot. It's partially blocked by Jenkins. 
Scramble on the floor, tie up, jump ball goes to Hillsboro. Hawks will inbound underneath their basket. Into Isaacson. Over to Lampkins. Lampkins for three. It's off. Reba Hillsborough gets their own rebound. Lampkins with the ball up top, guarded by Kevin Jones. Brewer over to Lampkins. Pinkley drives to the basket and he scores. Gavin Pinkley, 6'8 senior, comes into the game averaging almost 20 points a game. Scores 4 2 Hillsboro. That's from three, and it's good. Fred Thatch knocks down a three pointer. Thatch coming off that huge game in the district final against Cape Central where he was on fire that first half, knocking down five threes, finished the game with 27 points. Ball goes out of bounds. Officials say that Bulldogs got a hand on the ball, so Hillsborough retains position, possession of the ball. Inbound backcourt to Ben Lampkins. Martin out to Lampkins. Lampkins from three, and it's good. Lampkins can shoot. Long to Thatch. Thatch from three, and it's good. Second three-pointer by Fred Thatch. 8-7, Sykeston. Isaiah Martin with the layup. Parker Long dribbles, finds Owen in the corner. Owen for three, it's off. Rebound, Pinkley. Brewer drove to the basket, and Trey Jenkins swatted it out of bounds. Yeah, that was on a tee for Jenkins. <laughs> well, he's really got the defensive capability, and they need to stay in this game. He got foul trouble earlier in that district final last week, yeah. but he's a big force for them underneath. Brewer with the uh, layup. Michael Brewer's first points of the game. Jones into Jenkins. Nice pass, Kevin Jones. First bucket for Trey Jenkins. It's 11 10 Hillsboro. Hillsboro's home team on the scoreboard. And Brewer with another bucket. He has four in the quarter so far. That's with another three. It's off. Pinkley with the rebound. Brewer from three. Offensive rebound by Hillsboro. Bulldogs are going to have to do a better job on the rebounds. Lampkins from three. It's off, but Pinkley rebounds, and he puts it in. Yeah, Too many second chance opportunities for Hillsboro. Yeah, got to get a body on Pinkley. Anytime he gets an offensive board there in the paint, it's almost going to be an automatic two. 15-10, Hawks. Three minutes left in the first quarter. Don Larry drives, kicks it out to Kevin Jones. Jones from 10, and it's good. Nice little floater, Kevin Jones.
personal foul on Lampkins there on the push-off. Dylan Mills checks in for Trey Jenkins. Thatch inbounds to Jones. Jones finds Mills in the middle. Back out to Thatch. Thatch drives to the basket. Oh. Using his left hand and scores. Well, Eight points for Thatch so far in the quarter. Still by Peyton Howard. Good anticipation there by Peyton Howard. Sophomore. Howard from three, and it's off. Rebound the Hawks. 15-14 Hawks with 2.21 left in the first quarter. Martin drives, gets it blocked by Mills. Rebound Don Larry. Don takes it all the way to the basket. Lampkins was able to take it away, but he was standing out of bounds. Out of bounds underneath the Bulldog basket. That's from three again. Oh, in and out. Rebound Hawks. Hawks are crashing the boards. Going to get Don Larry with the reach in. First team foul on the Bulldogs. Parker Long subs in for Kevin Jones to give, give Kevin a breather. And Trey Jenkins checks back in for the Bulldogs. Brewer to Pinkley. Lampkins controls at the top. Over to Pinkley. Down to Martin. Martin finds Isaacson. Tough shot. That was a tough shot. Tyler Isaacson with his, he's got four points here in the first quarter. Don Larry back over to Parker Long. Long drives, kicks it out. That's with the ball at the elbow. And Parker Long controls at the top. One minute left in the first quarter. 17-14, Hillsboro. Howard over to Thatch. Thatch drives baseline. Up with the left and good. He's got that left hand working. Ten points for Thatch here in the quarter. Hillsboro, no problem with the press. Almost a steal by Larry. Hawks are being very patient. Brewer with the ball, he drives baseline. Lampkins for three. It's off. Rebound, Jenkins. Thatch drives to the basket and he scores. And that ends, ends the quarter, 18-17, Saxton. We'll be right back. Hey, great party. Oh, thanks. Here you go, one hamburger, medium well. Uh, this is well done. No, 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 that's medium well. What, are you calling me a liar? This thing is practically burnt! That's it! You're not gonna come to my house and tell me how to cook a hamburger. Ah, really you, you wouldn't you do it there. You gotta be crazy! So, don't do it here. Sportsmanship, it's up to you. Why is Vision Source Dexter Family Eye Care different? Our office is doctor owned, and we view our patients as part of our family. Whether it is the latest in fashion eyewear, the newest contact lenses, or total eye health care, we have one simple vision to help people see. Using the latest technology, our vision source doctors can prescribe the most accurate eyewear 
contact lens and detect early stages of diabetes, heart disease, and hypertension. Experience the most caring and personalized eye care in the area and visit us at Dexter Family Eye Care. And we're back here at Farmington getting set for the second quarter as Sykeston got a bucket from Fred Thatch to get them in the lead, 18 to 17, and pretty up and down first quarter, Jeff. Yeah, you would think this tempo favors Sykeston. That's the kind of game they like to play. Yeah, the trend a little bit more deliberate. Yeah, the transition opportunities have really got to, they've got to get the defensive boards, get out in the open court for Sykeston especially. Three-pointers off by Owen Long. Jones with a jumper, and it's off. Jenkins with the rebound. Sykeston really crashing the boards on that possession. Had about four chances at it. They're going to get Isaacson with the foul. It's on the floor. And a nice inbound to Trey Jenkins for the dunk. He had an alley coming down the lane. Nice pass on the inbound for the stuff. Turnover. And it's back to Hillsborough. They're letting them play. Thatch with the foul on Pinkley. Pinkley has shot over 200 free throws on the season. He gets to the basket a lot. Pretty good percentage, about 75%. And he makes the first shot. Gavin Pinkley, 6'8", senior for Hillsboro. Second shot is up and good. Six points on the night so far for Pinkley. Fred Thatch bring the ball up. Looks like Hillsborough's in a little 1 2 2 matchup zone. They're watching that Thatch closely. Fred with 12 points already in the game. Owen Long from three. And it's good. First points of the night for Owen Long. Owen leads the Bulldogs in three-pointers on the season. Twenty-three, nineteen. just over six minutes left here in the first half. Like we mentioned earlier, Pinkley knows how to get to the basket. Personal foul on Dylan Mills, his first. Jenkins, Trey Jenkins subs back in. And they get Michael Brewer on the walk. That's playing the point guard position, bringing the ball up the floor. Fred Thatch does a little bit of everything for the Bulldogs. Averages about 21 points a game, 10 rebounds a game, four and a half assists. Outstanding player, just became the Bulldogs' all-time leading scorer this year. That's from three, and it's off. It's 
the second foul on Thatch. They get him on the reach in. Keith Blissett, number 22, 6'3 senior, will check in for Thatch. And Don Larry will check back in for Parker Long. Another walk, another turnover by Hillsboro. Peyton Howard checks in for Owen Long. Twenty-three nineteen, Sykeston with a four-point lead. Five minutes left here in the first half. Jones over to Blissett. Back to Jones. Jones with the three, and it's off. Rebound, Don Larry. Larry drives to the basket. And a nice shot, Don Larry. Yeah, nice aggressiveness getting to the paint with Thatch out. That's what Sykes needs to do is stay aggressive towards the paint, draw that defense, and attack the glass. Pinkley from three, and it's off. Rebound, Peyton Howard. Oh, nice. Nice pass, Kevin Jones to Trey Jenkins. Hillsborough will take a timeout. We'll take a timeout with them. We'll be right back. This game is brought to you in part by Bagby Wealth Management. Bagby Wealth Management offers a wide array of financial planning services to clients in all stages and walks of life. They can assist you with wealth management, retirement planning such as 401ks, college planning, estate planning, and business planning to name a few. When you're ready to pursue your investment goals or you're in need of advice beyond investing, call Bagby Wealth Management 624-4771. You may also find them on Facebook, LinkedIn, Twitter, or on their website at bagbywealth.com. My name is Dustin Mayer. I operate Mayer Law Office, which is a full-service law firm located in Dexter, Missouri. I practice personal injury, criminal defense, workers' compensation, family, and other areas of law. As an assistant Missouri Attorney General and assistant prosecuting attorney, I've had the opportunity to try multiple cases in front of juries, and I'm willing to put that experience to work on your behalf. I'm a Southeast Missouri native, and if you hire me, you'll get the big firm experience with the small town touch. Call today for your free consultation. And welcome back. We've got uh, just under four and a half minutes remaining in the first half. Sykeson off to a great run here and out to an eight-point lead. Another turnover on Hillsboro. Sykeson's pressure. It's gotten to the Hawks a little bit here in the second quarter, Tyler. Yeah, Hillsboro in the last about three or four trips, they haven't even got a shot off. A couple turnovers giving the Sykes and a few advantages to build their lead. Again, Sykeston with that over on the bench with two fouls. Jones from three, and it's off. Oh, Rebound, Larry tried to jam at home with one hand. Didn't fall. What an athletic move by Don Larry. Just didn't go down. Pinkley finds Martin underneath. He misses the layup. Kevin Jones with the rebound. Up ahead to Don Larry. Gets blocked by Isaacson. Yeah, pretty good transition defense there by Isaacson. We've seen it go the other way. Sykeston playing and defending the basket well. Good effort there as well. Looked like a lot of contact. Yeah, it no did. Call. They're letting them play. We only <laughs> yeah. have uh, four fouls. It's been a pretty, Bulldogs, two for the Hawks. It's been a pretty physical game so far. Thatch checks, checks back into the ball game. Again, playing with two fouls. Dylan Mills checks in for Trey Jenkins. Bulldogs rotating a lot of guys in and out, keeping the players fresh. Hillsboro is not as deep as the Bulldogs. 
And Pinkley gets fouled. See who the foul's on. Dylan Mills, his second. Pinkley makes the first free throw. He's three for three from the free throw line so far. Seven points total. And the second free throw's good. He's four out of four. 27-21, three minutes left in the first half. Parker Long over to Kevin Jones. Jones over to Thatch. I believe they're going to get Pinkley on the reach. Just the third team foul on Hillsboro. Thatch, Brett Thatch going to the free throw line. And he makes the first free throw. Fred, an 81% free throw shooter on the year. As a team, the Bulldogs shoot 75%. Very good percentage for a high school team. And Thatch knocks down both free throws, and he's probably going to sit the rest of the first half. Don't want to pick up that third foul. Brewer down to Martin. Turnover. Parker Long with the ball. Over to Kevin Jones. Layup. Nice look, Parker Long. Kevin yeah. Jones with four points in the first half. Oh. Looks like they're going to get Trey Jenkins with the foul. Like we mentioned, Pinkley gets to the line a lot. He has shot over 200 free throws on the season. And he makes his fifth free throw of the night. He's five out of five. The only points for Hillsborough in the second quarter have been free throws from Pinkley, and he's six for six. Two minutes left in the first half, 31-23, Sykeston. Hillsboro's staying back in the zone, 2-3 zone. Sykeston looks like they're in no hurry. Je Kevin Jones. Dribbling the ball up top. Looks like uh, Hillsboro is going to come out and guard them a little bit. Looks like Trey Jenkins gets fouled underneath the basket. Not sure if it's a shooting foul or not. Fred Thatch checks ba back in for Keith Blissett. No, they're saying the foul is on the floor. Kevin Jones looks to inbound. That's the jumper from about 15. It's off. Larry with the rebound. And it's a turnover. Don Larry was looking for Trey Jenkins. And Blissett comes back in for Thatch to play defense. From three is Brewer, and it's off. Hillsboro with the offensive rebound. Pinkley with the floater, and it's good.
Pinkley with 12 points total, eight this quarter. 31-25, 30 seconds left in the first half. Lampkins comes up and fouls long. Only the fifth team foul on Hillsboro. Thatch checks back in. They find Jenkins underneath. Nice pass for Thatch. That's the end of the half. We go to halftime. Sykeston 33, Hillsboro 25. We will be right back. Winning on the basketball court doesn't happen by accident. Players and coaches work throughout the long season conditioning for the rigors of competition. Practice upon practice, the lessons learned by our athletes will, however, serve them well for a lifetime. Lessons of teamwork, hard work, and commitment to excellence. At Bank of Advance, we believe that character in sports help to build it. athletes both on the court and in the classroom. Bank of Advance, where a handshake still matters. Four locations to serve you, Dexter, Bell City, Advance, and Chaffee. Member FDIC and Equal Housing Lender. Medium Pizza Hut pizza is just $5.99 each. Did they say Pizza Hut? For $5.99? Yes and yes. Yes! Introducing the deal you want on the pizza you crave. Two medium pizzas, just $5.99 each. No one out pizzas the hot. I'm a Missouri Farm Bureau insurance agent. I'm for working hard for what you get and then protecting what you've got. Your home, your vehicles, your life. I'm for making an honest living and taking pride in what you do. And for giving back to the community I call home. I'm for serving my clients with the respect and dignity you would expect from the farmers that started this company. And though I know you probably hope you never need me, I'm here for you when you do. I'm a Missouri Farm Bureau insurance agent, and if you're a Missourian, I'm for you. Since 1965, Harry Blackwell has been a household name in southeast Missouri for dependable cars and trucks. I'm a longtime employee of Harry Blackwell, and my family and I are longtime customers. I know firsthand that Harry is very passionate about people and cars. Whether you're buying a car, or having your vehicle serviced, or just sharing a cup of coffee, you'll feel the Harry Blackwell difference. Come join the Harry Blackwell family. You'll be glad you did. Well, I love it. I know, right? I saw it and I was just like, oh, I have to have it. Is it suede? It's suede. Love suede. State Farm knows that for every one of those moments, there's one of these. Well. I love it. I know, right? I saw it and I was like, I have to have it. Is it suede? It's suede. I love suede. That's why we're there with renter's insurance when things go wrong, but also here with a rewards credit card to help life go right. State Farm. Talk to State Farm agent Chris Brannon in Dexter today. Hey folks, if you've not been to the Winchester Place, come in and take a look at this facility. You don't know what you have missed. We are very proud of this facility. A lot of people do not realize we're here, what we can offer to them, and what a facility we have. And we would like to have people come by anytime and tour us. You won't find a better place to live or better staff to take care of you anywhere in southeast Missouri. I'll guarantee it. We are located at 400 Winchester Drive. Come down Bowman, and we sit on the corner of Bowman and Winchester. Tired of the same old burger? Well, the Lemonade House Grill in Dexter has some of the best handcrafted burgers around, including the Memphis King Burger and the local favorite Bearcat Burger. Other favorites include the Gulf Coast Tacos and Chicken Salad every Friday. They are the true Lemonade House, offering up to 19 flavors with fresh squeezed lemon delight. Call ahead and use their pickup window and utilize their party room for your next gathering. Lemonade House Grill located on the east-north outer road in Dexter. At Ag Explore, we're farmers too. So we know that farming's never been a nine to five job. Just like the farmer, we work overtime to bring you whatever it takes. 
Solutions like Enzone help you retain 47% more nitrogen with an overall average increase of 12 bushels per acre. Imagine what Enzone can do for you. Ag Explore. When you connect with high-speed internet from New Wave Communications, you unlock all kinds of possibilities. More gaming, more streaming and viewing, more ways to keep in touch, more ways to learn. And best of all, adding New Wave internet to your current television package won't cost a lot more thanks to New Wave's bundle discounts. In fact, if you're paying another provider for internet, switching to New Wave will probably save you money. Call or go to newwavecom.com to find more ways to bundle and save. And welcome back here. We're here at halftime of this Boys Class 4 sectional. The Sykeston Bulldogs lead the Hillsboro Hawks 33-25. to Impressive first half for the Bulldogs, Jeff, especially the front half of that second quarter. They got to get some turnovers, force some turnovers, and got points off those turnovers. So that was a big part of the first half there, about uh, the first half of that second quarter, the Bulldogs building that lead. Yeah, you're right, Tyler. You know, at the end of that first quarter, it was a fast-paced game, 18-17. Definitely, the pace definitely slowed during the second quarter. Uh, some turnovers by the Bulldogs in that second quarter led to some easy buckets. But I look for this game not to be over at all. Right. Yeah, Hillsboro, they just clean up the turnovers. They'd be right here in this game at halftime, at, like we saw in the first quarter, a one-point spread between the two. That's what's really nipping them right in the first half is those about three or four straight turnovers and not getting some shots off on the offensive end. Yeah, Hillsboro's a veteran team. They're experienced, so I look for them to come out this third quarter and really crash the boards. They've done a good job rebounding in this first half. They just hadn't, like you said, taken care of the ball well enough or capitalized on some of those uh, inside shots. Again, I see Sykeston will probably continue to pressure the ball, try to get more turnovers and convert off their defense. And Fred Thesh lead the way for the Bulldogs in the first half with 14. Certainly ag aggressive from the start. Had a couple three-pointers to get the Bulldogs going. And we saw a lot of good ball movement out of the Bulldogs, moving the ball up the court, especially when he went out with a couple fouls to the bench. They stayed aggressive, especially in the transition, and uh, picked up some open court points. All right, here we go, start of the second half. Hillsboro Hawks will have possession to start the half. Sykeston comes out, applying a little half court man to man. And they get a double dribble turnover here to start the second half. Yeah, that's exactly the kind of turnover that will certainly get Hillsboro behind here in the second half. You know, that, that's just a minor error that they've got to clean up and turn right back over. Yeah, a turnover there. Thatch threw it to Long, and Long was cut towards the basket. Hillsboro does a good job breaking the press. Lampkins from three. That's his second three of the game. He hit one in the first quarter. A really good shooter. 5'7 junior for Hillsboro. Owen Long looks at it, back to Parker, his brother, Parker from three, and it's off. Hillsborough has done a nice job on the boards.
Saxton back in a 2-3 zone. Pinkley from three, and it's good. He has that ability to knock down the outside shot. Yeah, a couple three-pointers, and it's a one-possession game all of a sudden. Oh. Fortunate there for the Bulldogs. Hillsboro scored the first six points of the second half. Thatch drives to the basket, gets his own rebound, and puts it in. Well, he, he's had some tough buckets right there around the glass. You saw him try to go with that left hand again where he's been successful, but very impressive right around the glass with those big guys guarding right there in the paint. Lampkins from three again. You got to find Lampkins if you're the Bulldogs. That's his third three on the night. It's a one-point game. Turnover on the Bulldogs. Jones was trying to find Jenkins. Coach Hollifield wants a timeout for the Bulldogs. Does not like what he sees here in the early going of the second half. And we'll take a timeout with them. We'll be right back. Why is Vision Source Dexter Family Eye Care different? Our office is doctor owned and we view our patients as part of our family. Whether it is the latest in fashion eyewear, the newest contact lenses, or total eye health care, we have one simple vision to help people see. Using the latest technology, our Vision Source doctors can prescribe the most accurate eyewear, contact lens, and detect early stages of diabetes, heart disease, and hypertension. Experience the most caring and personalized eye care in the area and visit us at Dexter Family Eye Care. And we're back with just under five minutes remaining in this third quarter and the Hillsboro Hawks have come out pretty hot and it's a one-point lead for the Sykeson Bulldogs and it's the three-point shot, Jeff, for Hillsboro from uh, Lampkins that's made this interesting here a few minutes in. Yeah, Ben Lampkins knocked down a couple threes and Pinkley's knocked down a three for Hillsboro. Bulldogs back in the man-to-man. -man. Pinkley drives, shot from the free throw line, gives Hillsboro the lead. The Hawks take a one-point lead, 430 left in the third quarter. And another careless turnover on the Bulldogs. It's what we saw from the first half from Hillsboro, just some, you know, just some miscues, throwing the ball away and a couple shuffled feet, and now Sykeston's got a few turnovers that's opened the door for Hillsboro. Brewer from three. No good, rebound Thatch. Thatch to Jenkins. And the layup is good. Nice pass from Fred Thatch to Trey Jenkins. And yeah, Jenkins ran the floor well there. They had a great break, but Jenkins running the floor, finishing that off. We're going to get Trey Jenkins with the foul. Looked like some pretty good defense, but Jenkins maybe have got Got him on the wrist on the fall through, but uh, about as good as you can defend there. And Brewer knocks down the free throw. Hillsboro perfect seven out of seven from the free throw line so far. Make that eight out of eight. That's from three, and it's good. 
Brad Thatch with three threes so far tonight. Thatch guarding Pinkley out top. Bulldogs staying in the man-to-man -man defense. Brewer drives to the basket, and he scores. Maybe you could tell us throughout the year, Jeff, does uh, Sykeston transition to a man-to-man -man defense in the half court very often? Got to pass inside. Trey Jenkins makes the bucket and gets fouled. Yeah, to answer your question, uh, Tyler, Bulldogs have played some man this year, primarily zone, but they have mixed it up a little bit this year. And Jenkins converts on the three-point play. 43-40 Bulldogs with 3-10 left in the third quarter. They're going to get Jenkins with the foul as Isaacson drove to the basket. Tyler Isaacson, four points on the night. And he misses the first free throw. It's Hillsborough's first miss from the free throw line. Trey Jenkins goes to the bench with three fouls. Dylan Mills checks in. Isaacson makes the second one. Forty-three, forty-one. Sykeston, two forty-five left in the third quarter. Parker Long out to Peyton Howard. Howard at that. That's from three. Oh. Ball didn't fall. We got a layup by Martin. Ties this game back up, 43 all. Don Larry. Don Larry misses the layup, but it's still by Dylan Mills. Out to Peyton Howard from the corner, and it's off. Oh, cannot get the layup to fall. Fast pace action back and forth. We had a layup with one end by Martin. On the other end, Thatch went in for a layup and it gets blocked out of bounds. Turnover on the inbounds play. And layup by Martin. He's got six points this quarter. Forty-seven, forty-three. Hillsboro, long with the jumper, and it's good. Parker Long, four points for Long here in the game. Another second half or second chance opportunity for Hillsboro. Rebound Parker Long. Bulldogs have to do a better job rebounding. Another turnover. Hillsboro with the ball, 40 seconds left in the third quarter. Pinkley at the high post. Finds Lampkins, you gotta find him. Lampkins with three threes. Looks like Hillsborough's holding for the last shot of the quarter. 15 seconds left in the third quarter. 
Martin to Pinkley. Back to Pinkley. Shoots from three, and it's good. That ends the third quarter. Hillsboro with a five-point lead, 50 to 45. We'll be right back. This game is brought to you in part by Bagby Wealth Management. Bagby Wealth Management offers a wide array of financial planning services to clients in all stages and walks of life. They can assist you with wealth management, retirement planning, such as 401ks, college planning, estate planning, and business planning, to name a few. When you're ready to pursue your investment goals or you're in need of advice beyond investing, call Bagby Wealth Management, 624-4771. You may also find them on Facebook, LinkedIn, Twitter, or on their website at bagbywealth.com. My name is Dustin Mayer. I operate Mayer Law Office, which is a full-service law firm located in Dexter, Missouri. I practice personal injury, criminal defense, workers' compensation, family, and other areas of law. As an assistant Missouri Attorney General and assistant prosecuting attorney, I've had the opportunity to try multiple cases in front of juries, and I'm willing to put that experience to work on your behalf. I'm a Southeast Missouri native, and if you hire me, you'll get the big firm experience with the small town touch. Call today for your free consultation. And we're back, set for the fourth quarter, a three-pointer by Hillsboro. The buzzer pushes the Hawks' lead to five, and this is the biggest lead of the night for the Hawks, Jeff. Yeah, Hillsboro with a big third quarter, scored 25 points that quarter. Sykeston just 12. Parker Long off on the three. Kevin Jones races to the basket. He misses. Rebound Hillsboro. Look for Hillsboro to be patient on the offensive end. They've got the five point lead. Kevin Jones with the reach. Fourth team foul on the Bulldogs. Pinkley drives to the basket, gets his own rebound. And nice rebound and pass by Trey Jenkins to Kevin Jones. Looks like Jones has hurt his leg. He's trying to tough it out, but he's limping quite a bit. Owen Long from three, and it's off. Lampkins being guarded by Jones. Jones really favoring that leg. Six minutes left in this ball game. Hillsboro with a three-point lead, 50 to 47. Turnover on the Hawks. Thatch with the ball, drives to the basket, and he gets fouled. Yeah, good drive by Thatch, getting out in transition and make that defense back up. Can force the foul, go to the line. And Jones, Jones is hobbling to the bat or to the uh, end of the bench. The trainer's looking at him, stretching out his leg. Peyton Howard and Don Larry check in for the Bulldogs. Thatch makes the first free throw. That's 20 points from Fred Thatch. Little confusion at the scores table.
Got it straightened out. It's 50 to 48. Hillsborough with a two-point lead. Fred Thatch shooting his second free throw. And it's good. Thatch with 21 points so far. We got us a good one. Lampkins handling the ball out in front. Does a nice job for Hillsboro. Lampkins does. Tough little point guard. Shoots the ball real well. Handles the ball well. Shot up by Isaacson's off. Parker Long with the rebound. Up to Don Larry. Back to Parker Long. Thatch drives to the basket. Gets fouled. Hillsborough is going to call a timeout. We'll take a timeout with them. Winning on the basketball court doesn't happen by accident. Players and coaches work throughout the long season conditioning for the rigors of competition. Practice upon practice, the lessons learned by our athletes will, however, serve them well for a lifetime. Lessons of teamwork, hard work, and commitment to excellence. At Bank of Advance, we believe that character in sports help to build athletes both on the court and in the classroom. Bank of Advance, where a handshake still matters. Four locations to serve you, Dexter, Bell City, Advance, and Chappie. Member FDIC and Equal Housing Lender. And we're back, coming off the timeout. 5.13 remaining, and uh, Fred Thatch going to the line. Has he shot one already, Jeff? No, he hasn't okay. shot yet this uh, this possession. Okay, uh, one point lead for the Hillsborough Hawks, and Thatch to the line to shoot two. Up and good. Thatch five out of five from the free throw line so far. See if he can make it six out of six and give the Bulldogs a lead. And he does. Fred Thatch with 23 points. Bulldogs stay in that man-to-man -man defense. That's on Pinkley. Don Larry guarding Lampkins. Brewer with the shot. That's with the rebound. That's over to Larry. Larry gets a shot blocked. And Trey Jenkins fouls Martin on the layup. Fourth team foul on Jenkins. He has a good effort to protect the basket, but that fourth foul, well, they really need him down the stretch. And Martin's free throw is off. Hillsborough nine out of 11 from the free throw line. Second free throw by Martin is good. 51-51, 4.27 left in this ball game. Thatch with the ball at the top of the key, drives to the basket. I believe they're going to get Jenkins with his fifth foul, and it is. Yeah, it's, that's tough losing Jenkins. He's been a good presence for the Bulldogs in this game. Jenkins will finish the night with 13 points. Nice game by Trey Jenkins. Tough not to have him on the floor here at the end of the game, though. Yep. 
Dylan Mills is going to have to play some valuable minutes here down the stretch. First free throw is good by Martin. Second free throw is off. Kevin Jones back in the game. The trainer was working on his leg during the timeout. Jones is tough. You know he's going to play. Jones with the floater, and it's no good. And Mills got back to at least defend the basket. Of course, Hillsborough go to the line, but it leaked out on the back side of that break. Seen that a few times from Hillsborough the last few possessions. Martin makes a free throw. Isaiah Martin, 6'3", senior for Hillsboro. He'll get another one. Second shot is good. Gives the Hawks a two-point lead with 3.30 left in the ballgame. Parker Long with the ball over to Owen. Owen Long back to Jones. Jones from 15 and it's no good. Dylan Mills with the rebound. That's from three and it's good. Big Great shot. Great pass with a big three pointer. Gives the Bulldogs a one point lead with 3.03 left in this ball game. Timeout. We'll be right back. Medium Pizza Hut pizza is just $5.99 each. Did they say Pizza Hut? For $5.99? Yes and yes. Yes. Introducing the deal you want on the pizza you crave. Two medium pizzas, just $5.99 each. No one out pizzas the hut. I'm a Missouri Farm Bureau insurance agent. I'm for working hard for what you get and then protecting what you've got. Your home, your vehicles, your life. I'm for making an honest living and taking pride in what you do. And for giving back to the community I call home. I'm for serving my clients with the respect and dignity you would expect from the farmers that started this company. And though I know you probably hope you never need me, I'm here for you when you do. I'm a Missouri Farm Bureau insurance agent. And if you're a Missourian, I'm for you. And we're back, and we've got just over three minutes to play in this Class 4 sectional. Fred Thatch just hit a big three to give the Bulldogs back the lead by one. And what a shot, Jeff, by Fred Thatch. I tell you, we knew, Tyler, going in that this would be a very competitive ball game, and it has. This one's going to come down to the wire. Bulldogs playing tough man-to-man -to -man defense. Oh, nice Got steal. a turnover, Thatch with the steal. He gets fouled going to the basket. Looks like Isaacson got him with the foul across the arm. Fred Thatch with 26 points on the night. First free throw is up and good. Second free throw by Thatch is good. Fred eight out of eight from the free throw line. Good defense by the Bulldogs. They force a timeout. Hillsborough has to take a timeout. And we'll be right back. Since 1965, Harry Blackwell has been a household name in Southeast Missouri for dependable cars and trucks. 
I'm a longtime employee of Harry Blackwell, and my family and I are longtime customers. I know firsthand that Harry is very passionate about people and cars. Whether you're buying a car, or having your vehicle serviced, or just sharing a cup of coffee, you'll feel the Harry Blackwell difference. Come join the Harry Blackwell family. You'll be glad you did. Well, I love it. I know, right? I saw it and I was just like, oh, I have to have it. Is it suede? Suede loves suede. State Farm knows that for every one of those moments, there's one of these. Well, I love it. I know, right? I saw it and I was like, I have to have it. Is it suede? It's suede. I love suede. That's why we're there with renter's insurance when things go wrong, but also here with a rewards credit card to help life go right. State Farm. Talk to State Farm agent Chris Brannon in Dexter today. And welcome back. We got 226 remaining in this class four sectional. Hillsborough with the ball, but Sykeston with the lead, 56-53. A design out of bounds play by Hillsborough from the sideline. They were to find Isaacson underneath the basket. He gets fouled. Shooting one and one is Isaacson. And he makes the first one. Tyler Isaacson with six points on the night. Second free throw is up and no good. Rebound Thatch. Hillsborough in a little 1-3-1 one, one zone. Kevin Jones handles the ball out front, out front. Over to Thatch. Dylan Mills with the jumper and it's off. Rebound off Pinkley. Soxton keeps possession. Thatch goes up, gets a shot block. Shots no good by Brewer. Rebound Owen Long. Long over to Kevin Jones. Kevin walks the ball up. See if Hillsboro will match up. Timeout Coach Hollifield. He wants to talk it over. Timeout Bulldogs, and we will take a timeout with them. And folks, if you've not been to the Winchester place, come in and take a look at this facility. You don't know what you have missed. We are very proud of this facility. A lot of people do not realize we're here, what we can offer to them, and what a facility we have. And we would like to have people come by anytime and tour us. You won't find a better place to live or better staff to take care of you anywhere Southeast Missouri. I'll guarantee it. We are located at 400 Winchester Drive. Come down Bowman, and we sit on the corner of Bowman and Winchester. Tired of the same old burger? Well, the Lemonade House Grill in Dexter has some of the best handcrafted burgers around, including the Memphis King Burger and the local favorite Bearcat Burger. Other favorites include the Gulf Coast Tacos and Chicken Salad every Friday. They are the true Lemonade House, offering up to 19 flavors with fresh squeezed lemon delight. Call ahead and use their pickup window and utilize their party room for your next gathering. Lemonade House Grill located on the east-north outer road in Dexter. And we're back. A minute and a half to go in this Class 4 sectional. Two-point lead for the Bulldogs, and they've got the ball, and this is crunch time, Jeff. We'll see what happens there. Looks like a little uh, box of one on Thatch. Yeah, he's going to get trailed. Had seen all this over the tonight, floor. but we saw a lot of it during uh, the district championship against Cape Central. Yeah, going to have to make an adjustment here for the Bulldogs, certainly. Look like Martin's guarding Thatch. Oh, nice. handoff. They're going to get Isaacson with the foul as Thatch drove to the basket. That's nice awareness by Thatch. He had a double team up top. Got it to the high post, and he went to the basket with a little give and go. And Thatch 
able to go to the line. Nice awareness on his part. That's the fifth team foul on Isaacson. He finishes with six points. Fleming checks in for the Hawks. Thatch's first free throw is no good. Yeah, it's first miss of the night. Is that right, Jeff? Yeah, it's his first miss. He was eight out of eight. Second one is good. Saxton with a three-point lead, just under a minute left in this ball game. Hillsboro will take a timeout to talk it over. We'll take a timeout with them. At Ag Explore, we're farmers too. So we know that farming's never been a nine to five job. Just like the farmer, we work overtime to bring you whatever it takes. Solutions like Enzone help you retain 47% more nitrogen with an overall average increase of 12 bushels per acre. Imagine what Enzone can do for you. Ag Explore. And we're back, just under a minute to play in this game, a three-point lead for the Sykeston Bulldogs. The Hillsboro Hawks has the ball, and it's a one-possession game, Jeff. And very exciting, this, all the, this whole Civic Center on its feet on both sides, coming down to the wire, very exciting game. Very exciting game. Just what you expected out of a sectional playoff game. Hillsboro's will bring the ball in on the sideline. 53 seconds left. Ball goes into Fleming. Fleming had just entered the game when Isaacson fouled out. Jones has to watch Lampkins. Bulldogs do not want to give up the three. And a bucket by Martin. Oh, we can see how he got that up off the glass, but he got it to go. Martin's had a nice fourth quarter for Hillsboro. He's got five points this quarter. He's been very active. Another timeout for Hillsboro. We'll keep it right here. And that's the sixth team foul on Hillsboro. So they had a foul to give, and now 22 seconds to go. And certainly Soxon got to get the inbound clean and probably take a foul and Somebody looks like they're going to go into the free throw line, potentially for some big free throws coming off this inbound. Saxton has four players who shoot over 80% from the free throw line. Both long twins, Kevin Jones and Fred Thatch. So I would expect the ball to get into one of them the way Thatch is knocking him down, probably him. Fred yeah. has 29 points on the night. Hillsboro's matching up man-to-man. -man. They're looking for the steal here. Ball goes into Thatch. And a quick foul on Thatch. Fred shooting one and one. Free throw is, oh, it's no good. And here we go. 15 seconds left in this ball game. Hillsboro with possession. Saxton holding a one point lead, 10.2 seconds left. Coach Hollifield. Wants to call a timeout. We will keep it right here. Well, I didn't expect that from Thatch. He was short on that one, and, well, it really opens the door for Hillsborough here with the last opportunity. And, well, being down one, that's just, well, that's nerve-wracking because one basket can 
give them the lead. Certainly got to cut off the paint. You know, you, you, they're certainly going to be looking inside, try to get into the paint, either draw a foul or get a good look in the paint and just got to close off that paint as best as you can if you're Sykeston. But, of course, if you're on the other side of Hillsborough, you want to stay aggressive. You're in the bonus. You want to be going to the basket, drawing that foul, getting to the line, and uh, putting Sykeston on their heels. But, uh, what, what a finish here in, here in Farmington. We'll see what happens here, Tyler. I would think Hillsborough would try to get the ball inside to Pinkley. Pinkley's looking to inbound. Still by Larry. Great defense by Sykeston on the inbound. Nowhere to go. So kind of a desperation inbound with no timeouts remaining. And the defense getting it done for the Bulldogs. Still a lot of time left on the clock. All right, Bulldogs call another timeout. We'll keep it right here. Eight seconds to go, and a couple of big, I mean, got to go to the line and hit some free throws again. Yeah. It's one and one still, so. Don Larry is going to the free throw line. Don has two points on the night. On the year, Don is a 62% free throw shooter. He's a senior. That's one thing, if you miss this front end of the one and one, Sykeson's got to get back. You can't let Hillsboro go up the court and have options on the break, either kicking out for a wide open shot or having the alley to the basket. So very crucial. Larry really just hit this one down. Yes. Gets, gets his first one down, but certainly, yeah, you're going to see Sykeson just stay off the line and be able to defend in the transition if, in fact, he misses. Free throw is up and no good. Rebound Pinkley. Lampkins brings the ball up the floor. Oh, nice defense. Got it still by Parker Long. He falls out of bounds. One second 1. remaining. 1.2 seconds left. Got to look for the tip here. Pass out to Lampkins. Lampkins throws one up, and it's no good. The Bulldogs escape with a one-point win. And great defense by the Bulldogs. Right there, Parker Owens saved that potential shot right under the basket. And before that, the inbound was stolen by Larry. And a great sequence there. Sykeson forcing the inbound deep in the, in the backcourt. And defense got it done for the Bulldogs here tonight, especially late. Oh, wow. Defense was outstanding at the end of the game. What can you say? What a ball game. Great ball game. Great effort by Hillsboro. Just uh, come down to a few plays, and Sykeston made the plays they needed, especially on defense, to force their way to the quarterfinal round. We're going to take a quick break, total up some final scoring, and be back with your post game coming up. When you connect with high-speed internet from New Wave Communications, you unlock all kinds of possibilities. More gaming, more streaming and viewing, more ways to keep in touch, more ways to learn. And best of all, adding New Wave Internet to your current television package won't cost a lot more thanks to New Wave's bundle discounts. In fact, if you're paying another provider for Internet, switching to New Wave will probably save you money. Call or go to newwavecom.com to find more ways to bundle and save. Oh, you're talking about for Hillsborough? Yeah. Eh, uh, you got to play, you got you to gotta have everybody covered in the transition. by me. I'm number one in this class. I rule this lab. I'm number one. Hey, hey, I don't think so. Yes! Winner! I am a king! Woo! You wouldn't do it there. Woo! So, don't do it here. Sportsmanship. It's up to you. What? Jerk. 
Why is Vision Source Dexter Family Eye Care different? Our office is doctor owned and we view our patients as part of our family. Whether it is the latest in fashion eyewear, the newest contact lenses, or total eye health care, we have one simple vision to help people see. Using the latest technology, our Vision Source doctors can prescribe the most accurate eyewear, contact lens, and detect early stages of diabetes, heart disease, and hypertension. Experience the most caring and personalized eye care in the area and visit us at Dexter Family Eye Care. This game is brought to you in part by Bagby Wealth Management. Bagby Wealth Management offers a wide array of financial planning services to clients in all stages and walks of life. They can assist you with wealth management, retirement planning such as 401ks, college planning, estate planning, and business planning to name a few. When you're ready to pursue your investment goals or you're in need of advice beyond investing, call Bagby Wealth Management 624-4771. You may also find them on Facebook, LinkedIn, Twitter, or on their website at bagbywealth.com. My name is Dustin Mayer. I operate Mayer Law Office, which is a full-service law firm located in Dexter, Missouri. And welcome back. We're post-game here from Farmington in this great sectional final, or Class 4 sectional, and what a finish. And the Sykes and Bulldogs victorious over the Hillsborough Hawks. 20, or excuse me, 57-56, to 56. and what a game we had here tonight, Jeff. What a Jeff. ball game, yeah. Outstanding ball game, and we knew that going in. We knew it would be a very competitive uh, ball game, well coached, and players just playing their hearts out. Yep, both sides played down to the very end. It came down to the very last possession, and Sykes had come up with some stops, big stops, uh, avoiding the free throw line for Hillsboro, you know, not putting them at the line a chance to hit a couple free throws to win it, and it was three or four possessions late that they came up with big stops to close it out with a victory. Defense, name of the game here at the end, end of tonight's contest between the two of them. Bulldogs showed what they were made of. Some good uh, defense underneath Hillsboro's basket. Did a great job. Let's run through some of the scoring, Tyler. Yep. For Hillsboro, 6'8 senior Gavin Pinkley, 20 points on the night. Isaiah Martin, 13. Brewer had eight. Isaacson was six. And Lampkins hit three threes. He finished with nine. Hillsboro was 13 out of 18 from the free throw line. Finished with 56 points. For Sykeston, of course, the All-Stater, Fred Thatch, finished with 29 points. Trey Jenkins fouled out about halfway through that fourth quarter. He finished with 13. Parker Long with four, Don Larry with two, Owen Long with three, and that's the scoring for the Bulldogs. They were 10 out of 12 from the free throw line, 57 points total. Yep, great game on both sides, great efforts, and we saw a pretty close game last year. We saw pretty much both teams bring most of their squads back for this year, and it, it was even more competitive this year going down to the end. Both teams really – Familiar with each other, playing yes. from last year, so you could tell preparation was uh, you know big this year, and you, no real surprises on each either side coming into this game. And you know, Saxon had to put together one of their best finishes they probably had all year to to advance definitely. on. Definitely. And uh, you know, credit to them, their defense is what came through, and they will advance on to the quarterfinals for this Saturday afternoon where they'll take on the winner of Vashon and St. Mary's. Both uh, Vashon and St. Mary's along with Sykeston have been up there in the top three in the state, in the state rankings all year long. They've kind of shuffled around throughout the season. And Vashon and St. Mary's, whoever comes out of there, it's going to be certainly a tough foe come this weekend in Hillsboro at Jefferson College. Yeah, we don't know. That game is going on right now. Vashon and St. Mary's, we don't know if that game is over or or what, but those two teams are both outstanding, and they will present a major challenge to the Bulldogs Saturday afternoon. It's a shame that out of those three teams, well, out of these four teams, including Hillsborough, only one will advance to the Final Four. Right. Because all four could very well uh, have made a, a really good case of being in the Final Four and doing well this year. Sure. That's just the way the bracket has been the last few years. And St. Mary's and Vashon went to overtime last year, last I believe. Year, yes. And 
Uh, Vachon barely won that game last year, and St. Mary's probably a stronger team coming back this year, although Vachon's played very well this year. And we'll see what happens. It's going to be a big showdown Saturday afternoon with a 2.45 start. Do I have that right? 2.45 start. And we'll be on hand there. Sorry, if you're probably watching this on a replayed basis. Not able to bring it live tonight here from the Civic Center. Just just couldn't make it happen. Uh, conditions just not allowing us to do it here tonight. But uh, we'll be there on hand Saturday afternoon for that broadcast at the Jefferson College campus in Hillsboro. 245 start. Sykeston in the quarterfinal taking on the winner of Vachon and St. Mary's will be there on hand live at 245, including the girls game proceeding at 1 o'clock where the Dexter Lady Bearcats advance tonight. They'll be playing in that quarterfinal as well at 1 o'clock at Jefferson College. So we'll be looking forward to that. Jeff, uh, I assume you're going to be there on hand. I will be again. there. I we'll wouldn't be, miss it. <laughs> oh, yeah. Big time, big time game Saturday afternoon. A lot like what you we bet. saw last year. Sykeston and Vachon. Should be another big one there at Hillsboro Saturday afternoon. Hopefully you'll join us for that. We'll surely have that one uh, live for you from Hillsboro on the Jefferson College campus. And that'll do it for us tonight from the Civic Center. And a great one coming down to the end. Sykes in advancing to another quarterfinal round for 2018. We'll look forward to seeing how it all plays out the rest of the way. And for myself, Tyler Wagner, Jeff Williams, and Josh Allen, the camera, that'll do it for us tonight. And appreciate you coming along again. Tonight, You're very Jeff. welcome. I enjoyed it. All right. Take care, everyone.